everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you are most probably aware, there has been so many trends on Instagram stories recently where it's either show me a picture of, show me a video of, or there's been true or false um, assumptions ones on there at the minute. And I've been absolutely loving them. I've been taking part over on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, you definitely should. It is on the screen here. And yeah, so I've been getting involved with them on my Instagram, but I really, really loved the idea of the show me a picture of like trend and I thought I would bring it to YouTube. I'm not sure if anybody else has done this already. I don't know who started the original like trend of the show me a picture of or whatever. So if any of you do happen to know that then do let me know so I can like tag. But yeah, I just wanted to bring it onto my YouTube and bring it up on here as I feel like there's so much more that I could share with you guys and I feel like it would make quite a fun video. And you guys seem to be keen on the video idea as well. So here we are. I have my little iPad here. I actually just got an iPad. <laughs> you guys persuaded me to get the iPad. Okay, so if I regret this in a few months, I'm blaming it on you. But yeah, so I've got my iPad with the questions and the picture. I'm obviously gonna put it on the screen as well so you can actually see it properly. But yeah, I'm very excited. Some of the pictures and like photos are quite interesting, quite funny. But if you wanna see like another one of these videos, where I obviously show more, expose more, or if we even just hit on like a certain topic, then do let me know, because I can definitely do that as well. But yeah, that's the basis of today's video. So if you do enjoy, as always, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up, down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Oh my god, I actually forgot to say just then in the intro, today marks my sixth year being on YouTube. Where has the time gone? Literally. I can't believe I've been doing YouTube now for six years. That is literally crazy and I'm still forever grateful for all your guys' support and like I said, if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe. It would honestly mean the world to me. And yeah, I just cannot believe I've actually been doing this for six years. And I still love it just as much as when I started, but I just cannot believe that little old me filming on an iPad in my bedroom back in 2015 would have got this far and still be doing it, still just living life how I wanna live it and yeah, that's all down to you guys. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys again for getting me into this position. I honestly could not have done it without you guys. So yeah, crazy, six years. But anyway, I know you just want to see me get on into the questions. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my iPad and we're going to go from the start. So I actually do have two videos because I couldn't find a picture from like them times and one of them actually was reference to a video so I just thought oh, I'll just throw it in there. Okay so the first show me a picture of is actually by my friend Jodie. I'm sure many of you guys know who Jodie is. Ginger hair, works pretty hard travel. She's a little bit crazy um, and she said show me a picture of the worm on your leg. So if you guys weren't aware a few years ago I fell over at an 18th birthday party and sliced my knee open and when I had that stitched up it healed and kind of look like a worm. So I'm gonna post some pictures on the screen. This is just a trigger warning. There are gonna be like stitches. It's gonna be a scar. Um, so if that kind of stuff freaks you out, then just skip ahead. I'll put on the screen when to skip ahead too. Uh, but if you are interested, then hear the, hear the coming. So the first picture was literally the day after I had like my knee stitched up so this is the morning after and I'd obviously got home you can see my knee is very very swollen I had seven stitches in my knee uh yeah it just wasn't a fun time so at this point it didn't really look like a worm skip to the next picture so this is about two months after it had like healed and as you can see it is in its prime worm form it literally looks like someone has stuck a worm on my leg. So this is after I got out of the shower or the bath. Uh, so I don't know if it's something to do with the blood circulation, making it look really purple, but it did used to just change color all the time. One day it'd be pink, one day it'd be purple, it'd be white, it like, it would just change color. So yeah, when it was purple, it looked like a worm. Uh, this is now what it looks like now. So this is two years after, well, nearly three years actually, after I've obviously 
done it. Um, as you can see, it's still very pink, purple and white. Um, it looks also very different to how it did before. It's got a lot fatter and like flatter as well. Uh, yeah, it still makes me feel a bit weird. There's not a lot of feeling in that area. I mean, there is like some bits I can feel but then it really creeps me out. But then there's some bits where someone can be touching it and I'm like, I literally cannot feel that. But then that freaks me out as well because I'm like, I know that they're touching it and I can't feel that they're touching it. So yeah, that is the worm on my leg. So the next one is, and now I had so many of these and that was the night you met your boyfriend or like the time you met your boyfriend. So this is the night that I met my boyfriend. I was at a house party and it's, yeah, this was what I was wearing that night. I decided to use a different picture because I have answered this one on Instagram, but I know there'll be a lot of you guys on here that don't follow my Instagram that would want to know. So I used a different picture. So yeah, that was the night I met my boyfriend. The next one is a random picture you love. Now I actually really struggled with this one because I was like, a random picture I love. I was like, well, it's gotta be like a random picture. And I was like, I can't think of a random picture that I love. So anyway, I went scouring, just like looking through pictures. And now the original picture I was looking for is a picture of me and Ben. And I did find that picture, but whilst I was finding that picture, I found another picture which I never ever seen before. I actually have two for this because both of them I've never seen before. And I just, I do actually really, really like the pictures. So the first picture is me and Lola. As you can see, you can't really see Lola's face in the picture, but she's got a little bobble hat on. She's got a little cute little like suit, like Christmas, like winter suit on. And I'm in a onesie, just holding her, smiling. And you can see Santa and Isla in the background. I just think this is such a cute picture. Like, I probably remember this when it was taken, but like, I haven't seen it in years. Like, I think I'm about 14, maybe even younger in this picture. So it's a good like seven, eight years ago. I just love this picture. Like, like I said, I've not seen it in a very long time. And I just think it's so cute. Like, I just love it. I just love it. So yeah, so that was the first one. The next one is also me and Lola. This one, I just can't. It's just so cute. Both of us drinking out of a straw in a J2O bottle and Lola just looks so small. I must have been about 13 in this because Lola doesn't look much older than one. So that is a long time ago. Okay, so the next one is a picture of your last day at school. Now, I can remember the last day of school like it was yesterday. I actually loved the last day of school and yeah it was just one of the best experiences and we're like finally leaving not having to wear a uniform ever again but now i look back i obviously kind of wish i was still in school sometimes like just being that age um i didn't enjoy school very much but just to be that age again and have no worries and things like that would be so fun uh, so this is a picture of me and my best friend jazz on our last day then purple ties oh. It just were not it. Yeah, we have four different coloured ties in our school, all for like the different houses. And yeah, this is me and Jazz. Both of us are looking very, very young. As you can see, we've got our school shirts on, which we've had signed by everyone. And yeah, the last day of school was just a fun day. Like you obviously just don't actually do any work really. It's just about going around, getting signatures on your top. You have your levers assembly and things like that. And yeah, it was just a really good day to be fair. Okay, so we're coming on to the first video. So somebody said you falling off that table. Now, if you don't follow my Twitter, Again, I recommend you should. Two years ago now, I tweeted a video of me from a night out when I was very drunk and I basically was stood on a stool and I think, so what I was trying to do is me and everyone were messing around. It was really, really late at night. Well, early in the morning, should we say. It was about 5 a.m. We were both still really drunk, just got in from the club and I was trying to do the salmon like they do on Love Island. And I was doing it a few times and I was obviously trying to record it. And then at this time I tried to record it again and as I stood on the chair preparing ready to go it just gave way and I just completely fell off and yeah I don't know how I didn't injure myself that night because I actually woke up the next day completely fine but yeah here's the video anyway but I actually no my <laughs> Jasmine Honestly, I just, I don't know how I actually managed to be okay after that. Like the table that's in the background that I hit my foot on, that was cemented to the floor. And that 
moved like it moved uh so yeah so that is the well-known video of me falling off the stool okay so the next one is a little bit of a sad one and it is your first heartbreak so this is me sat in the bath uh, as you can see my eyes are very puffy i've got mascara like on my face and my hair is just lobbed over with the caption i am a mess uh yeah this was a few days after i found out that my ex-boyfriend had cheated on me and we'd sort of like split up and things like that and yeah i was obviously just really upset um i probably have other photos and things but this was just the first one i saw and i don't think i look too bad in it <laughs> but i don't look the best uh so yeah so the next one is my biggest career moment now i've had quite a few big career moments you know i've had many meet and greets i've been on like branded trips and things like that but i have to say my biggest career moment so far would be hitting 250,000 subscribers i still to this day i'm so shocked six years down the line 250,000 of you literally blows my mind i mean i think there's like 270 of you guys now little old me six years ago sat in my bedroom at 14 years old starting my youtube never even thought i was going to hit 100 subscribers let alone 250,000. so this is definitely one of my biggest achievements in my career moments um i'm obviously really really grateful and i still cannot believe that that many people watch me like that's like three Wembley stadiums maybe even four like that is a lot of people and I'm still gonna keep pushing I would really really love to hit a million subscribers one day um so yeah I obviously just I love doing what I do so if you guys want to help me reach that milestone then please feel free to subscribe down below yeah it would honestly mean the world to me and then maybe that can be my biggest achievement so the next one is an unseen pick from my 18th birthday party so you guys know I vlogged my 18th birthday party and it is up on my channel now if any of you guys haven't watched it but you do want to go back and watch it um yeah I was so much fun I absolutely loved it however I blacked out at like half past 10 at my own 18th so it was very very interesting and a very very like quick party for me but I do have two pictures that are like unseen pictures because they were taken by somebody else they weren't taken like from my phone or like my family's phone so the first one is this picture here and this picture explains why I was passed out by half past 10 as you can see I have two drinks in my hand there was not a moment where I didn't have at least two drinks in my hand because whenever somebody would come in they would buy me a drink so I would either have like two or three drinks in my hand and I was carrying around like this all night and yeah this was a picture of me obviously with my two drinks that someone had just bought me and yeah I, I just lost count of how much I was drinking and what I was drinking because everyone bought me a drink as they came in like it was ridiculous I honestly could not keep up so yeah so that's the first one and then I wanted to include this next one because I think it's a really nice photo and it's of me and my friend George George is like one of my closest like family friends um and we've been friends like since we were like born so yeah we obviously are still friends to this day I don't see him that often uh but yeah he's a close family friend and I just think this is a really cute picture of the two of us and obviously the caption is 18 years and going yeah love that picture and again it's obviously never been seen because it wasn't posted on my account it was posted on his so okay so going back to another sad one um this one was a very popular one as well so i thought i should include it and that was show us a picture when you were at your lowest and nobody knew so i actually did this one on my instagram but i posted a picture from 2018 um, because 2018 was quite a rough year for me as you guys know who have been around for a while I obviously lost a lot of my hair um, due to like crappy mental health and things like that my eyebrows all fell out so also if you do go and watch my 18th birthday vlog and you're wondering where my eyebrows are that that is why I yeah I was struggling that year um, but I really wanted to take it back to a moment where no one actually really knew i was at my lowest so here is a picture of me and two friends in my kitchen on new year um in 2016 and when i tell you no one knew how low i felt at this point in my life literally no one knew not my friends not my family um 
it came out eventually um, to like my family and some friends how like low I was but this was a point where it was all still very much a secret and something I was battling with myself um so even though I look really smiley and happy in this picture I was actually very like sad and yeah just not myself uh, obviously having my friends around me did help a little bit but yeah so that was a very very sad time in my life which no one really knew about that much so yeah. Okay, so moving on, a little bit more of a cheerful one. Uh, this one, again, is one that made me laugh. And it says, a time that you and Surf knew you had fucked up. <sighs> now, there is numerous occasions me and Sophie have been like, we seriously fucked up. But I think this one has to take the lead so far in our life anyway. So this is a picture of me and Sophie the night we decided to throw a house party. Yes, bad, bad, bad mistake. <laughs> Honestly, we thought, you know, we'd have it under control. Everyone would be so respectful. It would be fine. Our mum would never find out. Blah, 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 this, this, that, and the other. No, all of them things I just said, the opposite happened. Yeah, it was just uncontrollable. There were so many people there. The neighbours rang the police. We had noise complaints. Loads of like random kids just turned up. We lost the house keys. We lost the cat at one point. And the cat, this is when the cat just started going blind. And yeah, it just got out of control. So many things got broken. My mum and Ben found out. And yeah, it was just not a very good time. So that was a very much a moment we realised we'd fucked up. Okay, so going back to another boyfriend question. This one is your first date with your boyfriend. So I don't actually have a picture with my boyfriend on our first date because obviously it was our first date. It was a little bit scary. I wasn't going to be taking pictures of the two of us. But I have this picture which I sent to my girls um, saying that this was the outfit that I was wearing. So as you can see, I actually had Sophie's top on. I just had some shorts on as our first date was in like summertime. And then I had some like little heeled sandals and I had no extensions either. So, but yeah, so I was obviously just sending this to my girls to make sure they approve of the outfit. And yeah, the day it went on from there. It was a very good day, actually. I got very, very drunk that night. <laughs> Don't know how I got so drunk. I literally, I think I had like four drinks and I was drunk. Uh, I don't know if it was the nerves coming over me, but yeah, I was literally so drunk. Well, that concludes today's video and I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, as always, please remember to get a huge thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do let me know if you want to see another one of these videos or if you want me to do like the true or false um, assumptions one and bring it onto here. Uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you guys on Wednesday with my weekly vlog. Bye.